Hello everyone, I hope you are well today. Now, today we are going to work on the causal chakra, one of the celestial chakras that is outside your body. So, we worked on the Earth Star, we have worked on the Hara, now we're going to work on the causal. And I'll tell you a little bit about the causal chakra. It is one of the new age chakras. We use it a lot in angelic Reiki. And it is actually probably about here. As I start to talk about it, you may start to become aware that something is around there. So it is behind you and it connects to the altar major. If we lift it, which I will do in a little bit, and shine light through or imagine light coming through, we can get the connection to the altar major and the penile gland. Okay, we actually lift the scalp, the head, up in some Reiki um, attunements because it helps chi go up and down the spinal cord a little bit better. Okay, so let's just ground and protect before we start, okay, and then we'll start activating it and I'll talk a little bit more about it. So I want you to take a couple of breaths in and breathe out any residue. Breathe in again and breathe out any residue, just relaxing your body as you do so. And we're gonna open up in a different way and relax you. I'm going to work down your body in relaxation. So, I want you first of all just to imagine a beautiful energy of from the sky, from the heavens and from the earth and imagine that flowing straight into your heart chakra, swirling around and up and down at the same time. Connecting you to inner earth and infinity because that energy just travels straight through the earth but also to the heavens so you're sort of suspended in the middle. Okay, and then I would like you to imagine a candle flame at the centre of your being. Open that flame outwards to the right and the left of you, outwards to the front and the back of you, outwards to above and below you and keep pushing it outwards and upwards and downwards until it pushes out any negative energy, anger, emotions, whatever, and relaxes you for at least the duration of this video. You have a beautiful ball of spiritual fire around you now, okay. I'm going to call in guides and helpers who may want to assist with this as well. And I'm going to spray an aura spray over you, one of my favourite Chalice Wells gardens uh, from Glastonbury. Well, rose, and I used this in a couple of the other videos. Okay, we're just going to talk about relaxation as I use the selenite, okay? So I'd like you just to check with your mind around your crown area and your forehead, checking for any tension and gently letting it go. Smoothing out any furrows around your brow. Checking for that tension and releasing it. Your temples, your eyes and your nose and your jaw. Checking for that tension and releasing it. Relax, relax. Now down your neck and your upper back, dropping your shoulders 
and traveling down your arms, relaxing the upper arms and your elbows and your wrists and even each individual finger checking for that tension and gently letting that tension go. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Now we start moving down the trunk of your body. Your upper back and your chest. Down to your waist, your stomach muscles and your middle back. Relax, relax. Your abdomen and your stomach and lower back, checking for any tension and releasing it, let it all hang out. And now your lower body. The creases in your thighs and your legs and glutes, your knees, your shins, and your calves, checking for any tension and gently letting that tension go. Okay, just lift your feet up for me a little bit and I'm just gonna move the selenite underneath them. Okay, we've just cut any cords or anything and cleared your aura up. I'm gonna give these to you to hold now and just feel them lighting up your hands and opening any channels, okay. So, we're gonna bring our mind back to this altar major. And I'm just gonna play a little bit of music just to relax us further. sound work through. Okay. So I'm going to tell you about some of the crystals that help activate this. So we have kyanite, don't wash this, whatever you do, because it'll disintegrate, okay? Nice piece of kyanite there, blue kyanite. Celestite, another very high vibrational stone. This is it in polished and tumbled form. And moonstone. Now, I haven't got any normal moonstone, the sort of browny, milky colour. I have got a green moonstone, beautiful, gentle stone with a little bit of a point at the top of the egg. So we're going to be using these, but I am going to be working behind the screen so you may not see my hands a lot of this. So just close your eyes and enjoy the talking, the sensations and making that intention that you are going to activate this energy center. Okay, so before we start, I'm gonna draw above you the Reiki master symbol, the Daikumyo. I'm gonna push that in, guide it all the way down you. Also thinking of this causal chakra. Okay, well, all right. So we're working maybe four inches, maybe a little bit further. I tend to feel my chakras a bit further out. So I'm going to just draw in that say hey key behind you, the clearance symbol. And 
When this is activated, it can help us get ready to guide our present life, okay? So I'm just going to actually take this wand now of blue kyanite, so the stone that you saw before, soda light in the middle, and it has got copper to activate it. Um, okay, so we're just going to hold this behind you, that end taking energy out from you. Okay, so it can help you guide your present life, especially if you are on a path of exploration. A spirit exploration. And at times, it's a beneficial filter to colour your intentions for the highest good of all humanity. Okay. From this, you can understand that if we are bounded by our ego, then this chakra will not function. So perhaps try and lose some of your ego. It is good to keep a little bit though. Always good to keep a little bit. Okay, the causal chakra will enable us to consciously reprogram our lives through silent and inner peace. So it will help you relax and be a little less tense about things. And the activation of this is assisted with focused attention from the healer, which I am doing for you now. Okay, so we're just clearing, I'm just pulling away, I'm just keeping my eye on the door because a van has pulled up and I'm expecting a couple of parcels. Normal life. In a recording. That's what some of you say you enjoy. <laughs> so just pulling and pulling and pulling. And I'm just going to pick up a little cloth, a little velvet cloth. And I just want you to imagine a beautiful, let's say a clear aquamarine, Maharaja sized gem multifaceted and I'm just going to dust everything off with my etheric hand. Dusting and clearing. Taking the wand and winding things out. Think of all of that cloudiness disappearing. Okay. So I'm going to take this now and I'm going to point it back to you. Okay, activating it now and spiraling and rotating the kyanite beam of light. So imagine this beautiful light blue beam of light. I'm just going to stabilize at the front. I'll hold this beam for a minute or two. Okay. And you may feel a little difference as this happens. It may you may actually feel this beam rotating. But you also may just feel a shift in your consciousness. So I'm going to put that down now and I'm actually going to pick up this big bit and I'm going to have it like that. So I'm just gently holding it widthways across so that it covers all of this area. Okay. okay, well done. You're doing well. I know it might feel pretty weird. All right, so I'm actually going to lift it up okay so I'm gonna just turn around and show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna place 
my fingers here on the occipital ridge and I'm going to just gently lift it, okay? Right. Okay, I'm going to be firm with my grip, lifting it now. And I'm going to ask the guides and the angels to just shine those light codes in. Let, let it clear a little bit. Assisting with Reiki breath. This is called dragon breathing. Okay, I'm just going to release it so it's just going to settle back and I'm just moving my fingers like that. Okay. Okay. So we're going to work with this selenite. So I'm going to hold this at the front of you and I'm going to use this smooth one at the back of you. Okay. You'll probably feel a different energy from this to the kyanite. I'll be interested in how you feel the different crystals in the same place. Just shining in those exceptional light codes, really high vibrational, clearing that residue helping you with your thought patterns, opening little pathways and doors of forgotten things, the skills from the past lives being brought into this life today. Okay, just moving out a little bit now further into the aura at the back. So I'm actually probably now about 10 inches from the back of your head. Okay. Holding that smooth celestite behind you. And you may be feeling this as hot and cold energy or as breezes, very individual. Or you may just be aware of something sort of switching up. Okay, now slightly moving it to the sides of the back of your skull. On your right side. And then I need to move it around to the left side. So I'm going to draw the distant healing front and back. Honsha Tse Shorten. Honsha Tse Shorten. Honsha Tse Shorten. And then I'm going to activate it with the Chukkore. Front and back, chukore, chukore. Okay, then I'm just going to seal it in with this beautiful moonstone. So again, reaching behind you and really sealing it off there with this beautiful feeling, soothing, comforting and calming stone because we have activated that chakra now. So we just want to smooth it down a bit. Okay. I'm just going to hold it in this hand and I'm going to work with my other hand at the back and I'm just putting like a, a gold gossamer sheen on. 
So if your eyes are open and you're watching this, just let this soothe you and relax you now. You may even be feeling that moving into the centre of your, your head, joining up with that altar major. You may even feel energy around sort of the hairline, this area, all connected, okay. So just rubbing that now all around this area. And the reason I don't, you find me at different places in the aura is because that's where my hands are guided to work. Okay, right around the back again. Okay, so I want you just to make an affirmation with me. I now guide my present life for its best results. I now guide my present life for its best results. I now guide my present life for its best results. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to take these pieces of selenite. I'm just going to take this wand and we're going to ground with this. Okay. So I'm going to hold this flat on so the soda light calms, stops confusion, but we're going to hold it right behind you. Right up over you. And I want you just to imagine grounding with me as I bring this down. So down past the causal. And the crown and the third eye and the throat and the heart and the solar and the sacral and the base. And I missed the hara. Okay. Okay. And underneath the feet. Placing my hands on you. Resting the heaviness. Grow your roots out of your shoulders and down past your hips and knees and through your feet and into the ground below you. Downwards, downwards and downwards into the earth star and further into the crystal and mineral grids. And you can root them into that moonstone into that celestite, into that kyanite, and even into that sodalite to carry on working after you have left for the next 24 hours. Breathe in and then just breathe out and relax again. Peace above you, peace below you, and peace all around you. Namaste.